All right, welcome back guys. So it's been a couple days of uh, sanding and priming. Um, off cam, I got the front fenders primed. Uh, I did the same thing on the fenders as I did on the other panels. So they got one coat of epoxy, four coats of 2K primer. Um, so the 2K primer, is a high build primer, but I reduce it so it lays a little bit uh, smoother, but it also lays thinner. So that's why I gave four coats, because it's um, it's four coats that's thinner. So it's probably equal to more like three if it wasn't reduced, but it lays nice. So actually, I've been able to go over everything with just a 600 grit instead of needing to go with uh, 400 or anything like that. So 600 is laid out really, really, really smooth. It goes down rather quickly. Um, a couple spots you know just light on the edge there where i went through but uh we'll just touch that up with some spot primer so there's those um the trunk is done sanded the fenders aren't sanded and this isn't sanded everything else is that's been primed so we got all the other parts over here all sanded ready to rock so basically all that's left right now is the actual body. Um, we still obviously have some cleaning up to do here. The A-pillars, um, a little bit around the window, around the rear window, right here, and then the same stuff on the opposite side. So really not that much left as far as sanding goes, but... Sorry, I'm shaky. I keep stepping on all the freaking crap I don't clean up. It's jerking me around. Anyways, the quarter panel hasn't come yet. CJ Pony did send me an email that says it is supposed to be here this week. Uh, as in, I guess that'd be today or tomorrow. So, I have been doing all that sanding, except for they just sent me that email. So now I'm going to stop sanding, block sanding. And I'm going to move to this quarter because I want to get as much of this ready. That way, as soon as the panel comes, uh, I had mentioned before, I'm going to run panel bond. And I'll show you guys that process once it gets, once the quarter gets here. But the stuff has to cure for 24 hours. So ideally, I would like to have that on right away. That way, my 24 hours cure time can start. So for sure, I'm going to work along. I, I already started to do two of them and I figured I should stop and show you guys. I've got my um, spot weld driller, and I'm just drilling spot welds back here. Um, I do know that the, the panel that's coming is only from this line down, so I can't obviously go all the way up here. Um, the only thing that kind of sucks about panel bond is you have to have at least an inch of overlap. So what you do is cut this panel... And like I said, I can't go past this because I'd like to just stay on that line because then you'd have a nice line to go off of. But I'm not going to sit here and weld this and worry about warpage either. So I'm going to stick to the panel bond and deal with the, the pain and frustrations of it. But I'm going to leave this inch along this. It does not have the scoop, so we're going to stop. It gets smooth right here. This is where it gets rough. It's right here. So we're going to go past that. We're going to go down somewhere, or maybe we'll just go angled down. I don't really know yet. But then we need to include down here as well. So anyways, this will be left. That gives us an inch. And the pan the new panel will actually go behind this old panel for that inch of overlap. If we went on top of it, that'd be so much easier. But then we have to build out because we're putting material on top of old, uh, old material so if we go behind we're building in you know so our, our filler is actually only coming out to meet this rather than coming another eighth inch on top of that so i'll have to jack it up take the wheel off get all of our welds on the inside there underneath there and then i'm gonna wait to do that cut until tomorrow or whenever that panel comes just to be 100 percent sure um don't want to get ahead of myself that way. But if I can get a lot of this stuff drilled out, I think that's going to be some of our bigger time savers there. So basically that's where I'm at. I'm going to set you guys up here, do some drilling, some cutting, and 
try and get all of this stuff broke free and I think it's kind of going to be a lot more intensive than just saying so we'll start there and uh, see where it goes. on the wheel arch I just cut with the grinder all the way around and then see a lot easier to get to so what I'll do is since I cut that out I'll cut my quarter panel line out get the whole quarter off and then I'm gonna go through and take off this junk off the wheel arch there clean it up um, basically get as much as I can prep that way as soon as the quarter comes in It'll just be a, um, put it on, do the panel bond, self-tapped, and then this will cure for its 24 hours, or in this case, if it comes tomorrow or today, it'll sit for the weekend, and uh, I'll be able to come on Monday. So anyways, um, originally I was like, oh, I really want to wait till that quarter gets here to make sure everything's good and whatnot, but at this point, it's kind of redundant, because one way or another, it's getting replaced. So I've just gone ahead and decided where I would cut it. Um, if my quarter panel comes and for whatever reason it's too short somewhere or another, then I gotta figure it out then because I, I can't, I can't uh, or I don't want to just make some of this work even though it's all rippled and banged up. So. Like I said before, I need that inch overlap. So that's the top. This is all really straight. Actually, it's straight. Probably about there over, but I'm gonna go over to there just so I can get a nice straight line over to here. This is rippled in throughout here. Very fixable, but why? You know, I've got a quarter panel coming. Let's just get rid of all the ripples. So I'm just gonna go along here. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna cut along that bottom. This is gonna come out. I'm gonna start cleaning up the inside there. Um, so with the panel bond also, you have to have ground down surface on both sides. So once it's out, I gotta get to the inside of the quarter, the back side there, grind that down, get it all clean, bare steel. Once the new quarter comes, um, I'll grind this outside part on the new quarter It'll go inside, actually it'll get panel bond on the inside of this quarter, panel bond on the exterior of the new quarter, so they're sandwiched together. Um, Self-tap screws run through it all. You wait 24 hours, it cures, you take them out, you tack weld, your hole is shut, you grind down your excess panel bond, um, and then you do your, your body work and feather it out. Okay, so it's Friday, uh, I guess around noon now. Um, quarter panel came in, and it's so much nicer than I realized it would be. So it actually goes up around that top uh, of that body line there, which is really nice because you can see there's still some wave and ripple there that I was going to have to take care of. But this, uh, this changes things. So this will actually get cut up to this line, and our overlap will be there. Um, so I'll just have to work that. Ooh, then I have to work that line. Well, anyways, um, it also does go all the way over here. So I think I'm gonna actually just extend this cut over, drill out these spot welds and get this corner to come off. That way I'm not trying to line up this body line. I don't know the new panel versus the old, how well that's gonna line up. So I'll be able to take that over. This might actually just come straight down instead of this angle cut because we have so much quarter panel there. I'm undecided on that. But this is what I'm most excited about is that top edge there. 
So I have the family down here because they're they came down this morning to do stuff. Right, Bucky. Hi. Yes, yeah, so they got trash bots and uh, so LOL much. stuff. So <laughs> we homeschool, so they might they might even do some school. Little poop. It is. It's trash bots. So they might do some school. So for my cutting, my grinding, my spot well drilling, uh, my prep stuff, I'm not going to keep on cam because I'm going to uh, let them use the phone for some music because I don't think you guys care to see me do some cutting. But once I get this prepped and start getting that fitted, then I'm going to come back with some cam stuff. But there you have it. Figured I'd show you the quarter panel. So far, very happy with it. So we'll see how it actually lines up and everything. Okay, so I've got everything cut out um, on the back side there. I decided to not go all the way up to that lip. This is the wrinkled area, so I just went a little bit higher. So I'm still gonna use this as our lip to bond to, as well as this. Um, but I figured if I cut along that line, like I had originally thought, then I'm gonna have to worry about shaping that and making sure everything's perfect, rounded the same, not too sharp, not too dull. So I'd rather just keep this existing one rather than trying to mate that with that. Um, as you can see, we go all the way down. Everything's there, but I still got to grind down now that I've cleared off that stuff um, down here and around this corner. But for now, I'm going to get my fitment figured out. So what I'm going to do for that is slap my quarter up there. Pressed up the best I can. Can you hold that? Okay, you can hold it. Now, what I'm gonna do, she's kind of holding it roughly where it's gonna be. It doesn't have to be exact science because I'm just going, going to go on the inside, trace out everywhere that's cut, and then I'm gonna take it back off, and we're gonna go higher than that to, to allow for our overlap anyways. So again, it doesn't need to be exactly where it's going to be. Uh, it just needs to be close, and I don't have a light. My phone. Uh, is it over on the table? Maybe, yeah. yeah. Okay, that. So, again, like I said, it doesn't have to be exact, so it's really not a big deal to keep holding because I gotta go. Mm -hmm. All the way over there. Okay, so there's a little bit there on the bottom. See these little tabs? Am I in frame? Yeah, you're good. These tabs here, I don't know why the heck they're like that because they're supposed to go underneath there. Um, that was what was stopping us when she was trying to push in the bottom. So I'm gonna have to cut those off so that I can actually push in. But as far as the inside, we have a rough drawing of where we're gonna go. So like I said, um, let's think here. This stuff, the stuff that's getting cut out, this is the keep. So well, can you see the line in the camera now? Yeah. It's a black line. So mm -hmm. um, this is where our existing thing is and we want overlap. So we'll end up cutting, you know, quite a bit higher just to be safe. So basically I'll, I'll draw another line based off of this line. I'll probably actually go get my white paint pen that way I can differentiate. But it'll be somewhere around there, there, go all the way up to this lip. Um, and then the back side that's out of cam that you can't see right now. We'll just go all the way up to the lip I believe as well. So actually I'll probably just go up to here. And then all the rest of the back will we'll just go uh, on there. So basically I'll only cut off this section because of that stupid scoop for whatever reason um these are solid to accommodate for i guess the 70 and not the 69 but okay so we got it fitted in here um literally the only part that got taken out was that so you can see how much of the overlap is in there uh a lot so only issues that we ran into was where this part goes up because there's overlap up to here um, the part that wraps around had to get cut and then it actually had to get cut to about back there because 
uh, something was pinched in there, wouldn't let us slide forward at all. So it just knocks that out in there a little bit. Um, the lip in here that folds in on top of the rocker um, was more like that angle. So I just had to bend it up a little bit with pliers. Um, and it slipped right in, honestly, super, super easy. So what I'll do now is grind, well, I took marker and I've already traced along this. So I'm gonna take it back out again. I'm gonna grind all that smooth. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna run some self tappers so I know everything sits where it's supposed to. Um, then I'm gonna double check that line, trace it, pull it all off, grind that um, down to bare metal on this. And then we take the 3M panel bond. I'll show you that once we get to that point. And uh, we'll go from there. But that's basically the next step is just uh, screw stuff on so it sits where it's supposed to and do some cleaning up with steel. All right, guys, so we got this cut. Um, another thing I did notice here, there's a hard line here for the body line and it's not on this panel. So I just cut and it sucked out a little bit. I'm, I don't know, a little bit nervous to see how that turns out once we actually go to the body work side of things. But we're already here, so let's do it. So it's ground down um, for all the overlap area. Self tappers already ran. So what we're gonna do is take the 3M panel bond gun. Sorry, I'm out of cam here. There's number on it. If you look at it, one is bigger than the other. And one's bigger than the other. So pretty self-explanatory how it goes on there. They got these fancy little tips that mix it as it goes up. Um, we're just gonna load this up. You do with one hand, probably not. Maybe not even with two hands. Okay, got it. And then as you squeeze, it goes up the tube, it mixes up. So I'm gonna lay my first bead here on the inside of the car because that's gonna be a much bigger pain in the butt and then i'm gonna lay it on the outside or sorry on the quarter panel um katie and i are gonna slide it in there and hopefully she's gonna hold it while i screw it in and it's gonna go really easy and then we just walk away for the weekend but we'll see how well that actually goes so And while I'm doing this, do you want to go grab a paper towel off of the bench? Okay. Now with this stuff, you want to give a generous amount. Um, I'm convinced there's no such thing as too much of this stuff. There is things not enough. Now I'm not gonna do this on like the back and stuff like that. That spot, those spots are welded. But the actual, all this stuff will not get welded. The tack holes, or the self tap holes will get welded shut. But the beauty of this stuff is there's no actual welding on the seams and all that. So there's no warpage or any of that garbage. Inside one is kind of a pain in the butt to get to, so I'm gonna be a little bit more generous with this quarter panel here, but set and locked. We'll see though. If this is not as easy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get this one kind of set back like this and then You want me to take your spot? Yeah, if you wanna you're good right here, let's here. And then hopefully we won't lose our Freaking handlebar going in on this. What's 
square? You should move over here now because now we're in here. Yeah, you just hold up, I'll get it set in this spot. Okay. Unless I just keep dropping things. <laughs> It stinks, she says. <laughs> now I can't vouch whether it stinks or not. I don't really notice, to be honest, but it works, so. I know, but I, I deal with all this body work crap all day, so I'm used to smelling all this mm -hmm. filler and primer and everything else. It just, it all just smells like a body shop, even though this isn't a body shop. So what I like to do here, and I already took my glove off, I just... Oh well, yeah, that one's great. I didn't know it's doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, I really want to see it all puke out. So, yeah, you're good. We're gonna cut on the top here. Uh, I probably got 10 minutes left, huh? All Typically, I like a lot smaller uh, stuff pepper. I'm gonna freak out. A lot skinnier, a lot shorter, obviously. But this is just what, here it's this or these micro ones that aren't gonna cut through, so. Due to lack of planning and lack of time, this is what I got. There's one down here that, yeah, that one. Literally just flopped when it went in, so yeah. Okay, so what I was saying earlier is now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab a glove. I'm gonna put a little panel bond on my finger and I'm gonna run along on that. And then after all this cures, you just grind it back off the excess stuff. I'm gonna do that. I'm probably just gonna, actually just gonna stop the video because I don't think you really care to see that. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run all my other ones in here to suck that back in underneath and then Monday come back in clean it up do the welding weld underneath and that kind of stuff but there you have it quarter panels technically in and uh honestly so far not too shabby there you have it folks check out the other videos and uh hopefully this will be done by May <laughs>